rise. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the first scripture reading that Pastor Adi just read for you. I share with you today at verse 55. Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up into heaven and he saw the glory of God. This is the word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. Who in your life has inspired you to be a better person? Do you have someone in your life who has inspired you to be a better person? There was a man by the name of Rudolf Klausing. He died in January of 2021. But before he died, he got a piece of paper, and he wrote on that piece of paper these words, I had such a good life. That was his final words. Right after he wrote those words, he passed away. Well, his daughters, he had two daughters, and both the daughters, they, were, they just loved the words he wrote, and so they each had a plaque made with those words on it. I had such a good life. They said, Dad always brought the good out in people. He saw good in everyone. And we wanted to honor him by remembering the last words that he spoke on this earth. We all have an opportunity in our lives to inspire people around us like Rudolf Clausing did. In the Word of God before us today, we find a man who inspired people around him. His name was Stephen. Now, the Bible tells us Stephen was a deacon in the early Christian church. He was one of those who loved and cared for Christians in his Christian church. Now, the Bible gives us three descriptions about Stephen. The Bible says he was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says he had a strong faith in Jesus. The Bible says he was filled with power and he was filled with grace, with love. The Bible simply says he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, that's the way people in Stephen's day thought about him. And that's the way we today look at Stephen too, don't we? As a man of faith, a man filled with the Holy Spirit. Today, today we see Stephen made a difference in the lives of people around him. And we can learn some things from him today. First of all, whatever fills your life today is going to define your legacy for future generations. Look at the life of Stephen here. Stephen, the Bible says, had a strong faith in Jesus and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us Stephen had a lot of power, a lot of joy, a lot of wisdom, and a lot of courage in his life. That was the legacy he left behind. The author, Jamil Jan Kokai, writes in his book about the time when he was a little boy and his family moved from Afghanistan to the United States. Now, little Jamil, he was having a hard time learning the English language in school. But he had a teacher, a second grade teacher, whose name was Mrs. Lung. And Mrs. Lung would spend some time after school each day helping him to learn the English language. Well, Jamil came to be really good at the English language, and he was a great student. But after elementary school, he didn't see Mrs. Lung again, at least not for a long time. One day he ran into her, and he went up to her and he said, Mrs. Lung, you were a great teacher. You changed my life. Wow. Mrs. Lung here, she was a great teacher, and she made a difference in the lives of many of her students. Many of you know my wife, Angie, uh, is a teacher. And as a teacher, she's taught many, many children over the years. And every once in a while, when we're going around, we'll run into one of her students. And the students, invariably, they come up to her and they'll say, Mrs. Coleman, you were a great teacher. You made a difference in my life. Teachers like Miss Lung and my wife Angie, they make a difference in the lives of their students. They leave a great legacy behind. 
Let me ask you, who in your life has made a big difference for you? Was it maybe a teacher? Maybe it was a, a family member. Maybe it was a, a good friend. If you have the opportunity, let them know how special they were to you. Let them know what a difference they made in your life. Let them know that they left a great legacy behind. You can be a special person in the lives of people around you. That's because you too, like Stephen, you have a strong faith in Jesus. And like Stephen, you too are filled with the Holy Spirit. God lives inside of you. You too can leave a legacy for future generations. Secondly, we see today that whatever fills your life right now is going to decide what you're going to focus on when you go through challenging times. Look again at at Stephen here. Stephen had angered all those religious authorities in his day because he kept accusing them of refuting, refusing to obey Jesus, refusing to see Jesus as the promised Messiah and as the Savior of all people from sin and death. Now because of that, those religious authorities, they took Stephen in front of their church council called the Sanhedrin. And there they accused Stephen of of saying that God was going to destroy the temple and of saying that Jesus within was going to get rid of all their traditions. And so Stephen knew all this. He knew his life was in danger. He knew that he could be killed. Yet notice what the Bible says here. It says, Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit He looked up into heaven and he saw the greatness and the glory of God. Notice Stephen didn't focus here on all the threats that were around him. Notice he focused on Jesus. He focused on the glory and greatness of God. Stephen was determined that he was going to continue to share that Jesus really was the promised Messiah. Jesus really was the Savior of all people from sin and death. What do you do when you have challenges to your Christian faith? Are you afraid that someone may be angry with you for being a Christian? Are you afraid somebody may stop being your friend when they find out you're a Christian? Learn from Stephen here today to focus on Jesus when your faith is challenged. Learn from Stephen here that you can get courage and strength to stand up against the criticisms you're going to have for your Christian faith by focusing on what Jesus has done for you. Jesus died on a cross for you. He rose from the dead for you. Jesus has forgiven all of your sins. Jesus has overcome the fear of dying for you. Jesus has offered you the certainty of an eternal life with him in heaven. Wow. Focus on these truths of Jesus when you go through your challenging times for your faith. Thirdly, today, we learn from Stephen that God can use us to grow his church. The stoning of Stephen here, that was a major event in the Bible. The religious leaders... They dragged Stephen out of their city gates and they started to throw stones at him. They threw so many stones at him that they killed him. But the death of Stephen didn't stop the Christian faith from growing. No, the death of Stephen continued to spread the Christian faith throughout the Roman Empire. Now, the Bible tells us here there was a young man named Saul who was watching all this. He was watching as they were killing Stephen. Now, not long after this, Saul, who at that time was persecuting Christians, he was following what the religious leaders were telling him to do to persecute, to make lives miserable for Christians. Well, he had an amazing experience where he met the risen Jesus and it changed his life. His name of Saul was changed to Paul. And Paul then went on to become one of the greatest missionaries our world has ever known. 
Paul went on to give up his own life, sharing with everyone the truth that Jesus really was the promised Messiah. He really was the Savior of all people from sin and death. In 1970, John Perkins was arrested and tortured for being a Christian, for talking about his Christian faith, but also for saying everybody had equal rights. Well, John had a tough life. He suffered a lot for his faith in Jesus. In an interview, John said, the earliest Christians, they saw suffering for Jesus as a joyful experience. I see my suffering for Jesus as a joyful experience as well. Well, John Perkins risked his whole life for Jesus, and at the end of his life, he said, God used my life to be a friend of God and a friend of humanity. God wants to use you to grow his church as well. Let God use you to lead people to put their trust in Jesus because God can do some amazing things in you when you allow him to use you. In Stephen's final act on this earth, he was a friend to God. He was a friend to others around him. In his final breaths on this earth, he shared the truth about Jesus with those religious authorities around him. And he said a prayer. He said, God, forgive the people who are about to stone me, for they don't know what they're doing. Because Stephen had this strong faith in Jesus, he made a contribution. He left behind an amazing legacy in this world. Pray to God today that he'll give you a strong faith in Jesus. Pray to God today that he'll fill you with his Holy Spirit, that he'll come to live inside of you. Let God use you to leave a lasting legacy to the generations of people to come. Because like Stephen, many people are going to be blessed by you. God bless you. Amen. Let's now stand as we join together in the next song of praise.